Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Why don't we try some of these challenges? I've heard some tough things about them. Everybody says don't do April's Fool. It's so hard. Uh, I do not know. I guess we'll start with back ass words. Please tell me this is not Lefty Flip. What though? He started in like a boss room or something? You start in the Mega Satan room? Okay, but like... This is actually fine, because we have decent stats, or at least we have some, like, familiars in here. Do we lose items the further we get into the game or something? By the way, I have no idea what is going on with this familiar that looks like it has Crown of Light. Well, this seems, like, fairly plausible that we could win the game right here. Uh... We just got minus 3.5 damage, pardon me. We went from 3.5 to 3.5, which is a loss of 3.5 damage. I'm a little confused, but you know what? I'm always confused on the challenges to start with. You never know what's going on. Remember, you know, the first time you play Onan Streak? Nobody's there going, how do you play Onan? Here's how you play Onan Streak. Everybody's going, I just took damage for no reason. It's almost like our stats get... If not re-rolled, at least augmented every now and then. But that's probably because of one of the items that we have. Um, we also have black powder. I should probably try to take advantage of that. I'll tell you one thing. Mega Satan fights this early on in a run. Not necessarily the way that I would prefer to do it for the most part. But uh, we are going to get through this. I have confidence. We also have chaos. And if I'd rather have chaos than confidence, I think that's going to be a problem. But, uh... It's like I'm just fast enough to get around this guy. Do our stats constantly reroll or something? I'm a little confused because I thought I only fought one wave of those guys there, but I might be mistaken. I was watching some other people play Isaac, and, you know, actually it was my friend. I'm not going to subtweet him, I'll just shout him out. But it was like 2 a.m. last night. You know, on Afterbirth Plus launch day. And I was watching him stream at twitch.tv slash flackblag. And he fought a boss. And he's like, didn't I fight this boss before? And it's like, how can this guy not know that he's fighting a different boss? Obviously, you're not fighting the same boss. And then I thought back to all the times that I, you know, go to the Binding of Isaac subreddit. And I'll look at a post. And people will be like, whoa. And they picked up one spirit heart. And it turned into three spirit hearts because they were stacked on top of one another and he didn't even notice. You know, it's hard to be observant in this game. Sometimes. You got a lot of stuff on the go. We're trying to dodge all these super envy shots. Watching and noticing that uh, our damage goes, you know, up to seven. Oh, now it's down to three again. And then, you know, it was at five for a minute there. Uh, I, I really don't understand what is going on here. But that's okay. I gotta say, bold artistic decision to start a run with a, uh, a four minute long boss fight. At least they don't start you out with, uh, with base damage. I don't know, maybe it is base damage, but, like, our familiars are augmenting it. You know what would make this challenge really cool? Is if this is not a standard suite of starting items. If instead the game just goes, okay, we're gonna give you ten items to start with. Maybe that is what happened here. We're going to give you 10 items to start with, and it's going to be different every time. Because that would almost make this, like, an, just an alternate variant of playing, as opposed to, uh... As opposed to, like, you always get this item. But, I don't know, dude. I also don't understand this, uh, Crown of Light, baby. I know how Crown of Light works... ...in general. You know, you get an enormous damage bonus until you get hit. But Crown of Light, baby, when I'm charging a shot... Or holding down the fire button, it doesn't move. And then it repositions when I let go. I have no idea um, what value that provides for me. By the way, I'm not saying uh, that all future runs will be bass backwards. Merely what I'm saying... Is that it's kind of a... You know, it's like Eden times 5, but also you start at the end of the game for some reason. Taking a little bit more damage than I'd like to admit. Seven hits on the first phase of the Mega Satan fight. Not not stellar, to be honest with you. Seems like um, we have like the booger tiers. So they get stuck on enemies. 
I'm hopeful that, you know, that plus something like Firemind, like we've got going on on uh, $3 bill, can lead to even more damage over time, but it honestly doesn't look like it's taking more damage. Plus 3.5 damage. Oh, you know why our stats are changing? You dummy. It's $3 bill. And here I thought some kind of statistical augmentation was happening. That's the other thing with Isaac, though, man. Sometimes, you know, you, you get in your own head, you're like, what kind of amazing synergy could possibly be causing these statistical anomalies? Captain, there appears to be a tears up off the coast of the port side of the ship. No, it's just one item. <laughs> it took me a second to, to tease it out. Please. I know we have proptosis, but I want the... I want the booger tears. There we go. Death's touch. To be honest with you, we should be able to make this work. It's a decent suite of items. Oh, that was bad. It's a decent suite of items. And... We fought Mega Satan about 45,000 times. Please! <laughs> He's so close to death! Just go, dude! And sucks to the Asmar of whatever gave us that battery charge without giving us anything else. Maybe that's the challenge. Maybe that's it right there? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, now we're on Shoal. I, I mean, we could fight on Shoal. Oh, Jesus. Um, sure, I will take it against my better judgment. Come on, just two spirit hearts. Missing, though? Oh, my lord. Well, how do we look on this run right now? Lockdown. Full health. Full health. Telepills. Well, I guess we're exploring. <laughs> Originally, I was not going to, but... You, you know what? You sold me. It's only two rooms to go to get back to the, uh... To get back to the, the spawn room, which seems sensible to me, because... Good lord. Are you seeing my damage? It's like... It's 2.5. Luck is minus one. Oh, we do have an attack fly, though. So, Missing No is going to throw this run completely into, you know, no man's land. We have no idea how it's going to work. Um, but it will accelerate our transformations. Keep in mind, you know, where, where do you go after you're in the dark room? We'll be going to Shoal. So, uh, we are a little concerned. I also want to point out that 10 items... Originally, I was like, 10 items, no problem. 10 items is actually, like, none. How many items do you have by the time you get down to the, uh, the dark room, usually? Like, 20? A bunch of item rooms, a bunch of shops. Oh, careful here. Every boss room, multiple deals with the devil... And then any other way that you can find items over the course of the run. So we're, we're definitely going to leave this floor right away. A couple of reasons. One is, I do not like our run right now. Our damage is heinous. We need to re-roll into something a little better. Um, and actually, like... Presumably... If the challenge works the way I think it works, we just did the hardest part of the run. We just fought Mega Satan with... 10 items that were random and like a decent amount of HP. Now we did almost die, it wasn't like that was easy, but I underperformed I would say during that as well. Um, now, we uh, will go to Shoal and Shoal should be hard. I'm assuming as soon as we go up we're going to fight the boss by the way, which is going to be a novel way to approach things. But uh, And then we go up one more and we're on the womb, and we go up one more and we're on the womb, and the womb is good because we can get boss items. So that's at least a way to add more items to our collection. Full health. Huge. Then, we're going to go up and we're going to be on, you know, the depths. And we're going to start to be able to get items and get shops, etc, etc. Okay, we got Egghead. We got Monstro's Lung. Cricket's Body. Multiple Lives. Really bad damage still. Taurus is active, though. I mean, if we beat Mega Satan, we should be able to beat regular Satan as well. But I'll be the first to tell you, this is not like 
the most stellar uh, run we've ever had here. I'm so slow. In 0 0.5 speed? Are you kidding me, man? So we need to find our way back to the... Uh, back to the spawn room. As opposed to back to the... Uh, well, like, the good thing about the Mega Satan fight is that you get the, uh, the beam right afterwards that can take you up a floor. This is actually a cool idea for a challenge. On the spectrum of challenge ideas, at least it beats the shit out of the speed challenge, let me tell you that much. I would love to not have to use the full health pill for as long as possible, but this is, this is a start, man. Money equals power, okay. Not worth much right now. Judas' is shadow, so... With two lives... Believe you me, I understand the value of, of using Judas' Shadow right now. But I don't think I'm going to do it on this fight. We can always use it later on this floor. On this fight, we're just too close to this being done already. For, for that to make much sense, I think. Because remember, if I, if I die and come back as Dark Judas, we'll have to do this whole fight over again. It's not like the Satan fight is the toughest fight in the game, but... If possible, I'd rather avoid... Doing it twice just for sport. Oh, there we go. We're starting to get a little damage out of that. We got lifesteal of some variety as well. Um, what happens? No, okay, it won't let me go. That makes sense. Alright, alright, alright. Be cool here. I like the fact that I can actually get some speed. Mind if I get speed? But we we need to get out of this floor, because... Well, first off, we'll take full health. We need to get out of this floor. We are underpowered, dude. Get roasted, son. Uh, fool card, please. Fool card is now like our new emperor card. The guys. We will save that, and maybe we'll get value out of being... Um, out of becoming Dark Judas. 0 0.5 speed should honestly be against the law. Okay, small damage upgrade. Um, that is, to put it in perspective, like 60% of Maggie's starting speed. I guess we have Taurus. Do we also have another speed downgrade in there that's making that happen? But this does give us a chance to figure out how much speed do you need in order to... Uh, in order to get Taurus to go off. Okay, you need to go up by 1.5 speed, it seems. Are we going to respawn with Judas' Shadow? I mean, the reason it's so tempting is because of the fact that uh, our damage isn't that good, and we're not going to get many or any items until we get much further into the challenge, so... It is tempting, I'll admit. I think we should go to the Curse Room. Even being able to pick up, like... You know, a guppy item would be a good start. But, again, what I mean when I say that the run's going to get easier is, like, we should get more and more items as it goes along. And we're going to face easier and easier enemies and bosses as we go along. So, every floor that we get through, I think, like, drastically improves our chances of winning and surviving here. Like, if we have 30 items and then we have to fight, uh, you know, Monstro, that's going to be relatively easy. But it's a cool challenge, and it was tough to start with, for sure. And it, I mean, it's a little tough right now. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to uh, circumnavigate the globe here, Ferdinand Magellan style, because I need, I need more items. It might seem like this challenge is actually too easy, but honestly, 10 items starts you underpowered. Less so for Mega Satan, but more for having to survive um, everything else. Like, Mega Satan is one thing, not necessarily easy, depending on what items you get. We'll save that for Dark Judas, potentially. And, um... Mega Satan is one thing, but then, you know, you'd rather fight Mega Satan once... ...than have to go through the entirety of Shoal, I think. I That's my perspective, at least. Question mark card. Well, we'll probably use the Gaz on this floor, so... I don't know what our second life is, by the way. We're gonna find out, though. 
Please, spawn over here. We've done it. That's right, I did it. Uh, let's, let's nuke ourselves. First life was Blue Baby. Nah, we, we just, just come back immediately as Dark Judas. Let's do this. If we're gonna do this, we should do it right. Okay, so we got 8 damage now. Speed is 0 0.6. So that's pretty solid. <laughs> we got a 20% a boost to our speed if you want to be as optimistic as possible. Um, in hindsight, we actually should have uh, tried to survive as long as possible. Oh, we did it. Uh, and then we're going to have Mom's Heart right off the bat. So be careful about that. But we should have tried to survive uh, as long as possible as Blue Baby. Oh, thank you for spawning the next eye in exactly the same position. Now, we're going to get... No, we're not going to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. We also did not get our, our run fully re-rolled. In fact, it was not re-rolled at all. Which is okay, because it means I have a sad bomb that I can place in there. Missing node doesn't work if you go up floors. Look, there's relatively minor... In the whole scheme of things. But I was kind of basing my uh, my respawn as Dark Judas on the concept that we would be going up. Or we would get re-rolled when we went up. We, we can't take that, unfortunately. I mean, we could try to take the guppy item, but... Uh, the fact that we did not get fully re-rolled means that we're not gaining HP on the re-roll. Which is kind of like a principal part of re-rolling the run to begin with. Um, which means that we're going to be stuck on two Demon Hearts... For a while here. And that's a little frightening to me. I thought we could shoot over the... Over the gap and hit that portal. But! There's a Tinted Rock. We we lost Sad Bombs, actually. Were Sad Bombs... I don't know. It doesn't matter. We have a winnable run. 3 HP. And the game's getting easier as we go along. Oh, that was lucky. Money equals power. Did it reroll some items? Like, I don't remember having the... The penny bag, or the sack of pennies, but maybe, uh, maybe I'm mistaken. Thanks to Dark Judas, we're getting a, a much larger increase in damage uh, every time we pick up a penny. 0 0.013 instead of, um, instead of uh, 0 0.04. Wait, not 0 0.013, 0 0.13 versus 0 0.004. Oh, that was close. The stars card seems important to me. I actually like this challenge. I know I've heard some uh, mixed stuff about the challenges. Particularly, I think April's Fool is one that uh, people have complained about. But uh, I like this one so far. I mean, they are meant to be hard. This one might be a little on the easier side. I mean, there are some challenges in... In uh, Rebirth and Afterbirth that are super easy. Curse Room honestly is not that tempting right now. I can't believe like we've done this run for 17 minutes. That's actually incredible to me. I thought we were like, you know, less than 10 minutes in. But I guess we've been taking a long time here. I think if you get the right combination of items, you just steamroll this probably. But I prefer actually something like this. You know, keeps you on edge a little bit. If we can just get to the the womb one, we're going to fight the boss right away, obviously. If we can get an HP upgrade or a lot of spirit hearts, I'll feel really good about the situation. Then we go back, you know, maybe we fight mom immediately or maybe we just leave using the, uh, the stars card. And then we don't have to fight mom. And why should we have to fight mom in order to beat the game, right? Let's check this. I think it's it's worth checking. Uh, yeah, you know, we got a a damage improvement there. Although, I, I think it should be more than plus 0.12. should actually be like 0.7. But I'm confident we got that, even though it might not have indicated it on the HUD. Why do we not have Taurus working for us on this route? I don't know, dude. You know, I'm just happy we're alive. Let's, let's put it that way. So, we're going to go up to the womb one. We're going to fight a boss. I don't know what our deal with the Devil Chance is going to look like. Sister Viz, how could you? You know, fuck you, fuck you. I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. 
is another thing. You know, I've been following the community reaction to uh, Afterbirth Plus, and some of it is a, a little mixed. I think I end up being... Oh, luck upgrade. I end up being more positive than most people. I love new official content. I love Anti-Birth, too. Uh, but it's nice to have uh, new official content as well. But I do agree. Sister Viz is a fucking nightmare. That boss is so hard. The greedier challenge, it starts real tough. I agree with that as well. I, I've had a lot of greedier runs where it starts... It, it almost starts exactly the same way that uh, this seed started. Where you fight Mega Satan with like very little damage. And you're like, how am I supposed to... You know, it takes me 10 minutes to kill an enemy. What am I supposed to do here? It's not conceivable. Um, but thankfully we had the ability to teleport out. Please, my speed... I mean, we gotta try. No bombs, please. Ooh, okay, the, the HP is nice. I actually don't think I opened the other red chests. Are there two? Okay, there's there's two. Let's open it. The bomb is just so dangerous. I have 0 0.6 speed. Save me. This is what I get for complaining about the speed challenge. Now I get the... The slow challenge. I've been walking the streets at night. Oh, okay. I think Sister Vi- I mean, that's the thing, I've only played like f six hours of eyes of uh, Anti-Birth Plus, which might seem like a lot, and I guess, you know, on one day, is a lot of a lot of gameplay, but at the same time, I won't have a, a crystallized, you know, cogent view of how I feel about Afterbirth Plus until, uh, until a little later. Like, if I had judged the original Flash game, oh, thank you, after playing for, uh, now we do have to beat Mom, though. After playing for, uh, Six hours? I would have liked it, but I would have had an incomplete view of things for sure. So the item, it, it's actually, we are getting rerolled at least on some occasions, but the item tracker is a little busted, I guess, because we just lost Monstro's lung. I'm guessing maybe it only rerolls the, uh, Missing No only rerolls the items that we've picked up. Now I'm putting on my pseudo intellectual like programmer hat here, but I'm imagining that when you have. When you pick up an item, it gets added to a collection. And then that collection gets looked at like a deck of cards by the game. And when you have missing though, it goes, okay, for every item in this collection, re-roll it into some other random item. We might as well take the Polaroid. Um, but if you start with the items, it may not do that. So really, only the items that we pick up are going to get re-rolled, um, I think. Which is an incentive to pick up an item, I think. But also a... Uh, an interesting thing to think about when it comes to missing though. So if you, but missing though, it it's different for Eden. I guess I don't know why. Maybe they d d took a different approach to uh, to the way this challenge starts than they do with Eden, where you just start with uh, you start with two items. I don't know. That's that's my guess. Relatively minor in the whole scheme of things. And I know that like you know whenever something doesn't work in Isaac, even myself, your initial reaction. Like when the game was four hours late coming out, you're like, uh, come on, guys. But I, I have a lot of sympathy for, for Nicholas when it comes to testing the game because there's so many ridiculous uh, edge cases. So this is the smelter, which I believe is going to combine two uh, spacebar items. Oh, it combines trinkets. Is that a trinket? No, it's not. It was a damage downgrade. Probably charms enemies, maybe? I mean, Trinket Smelter is cool, but we kind of need the flies. Maybe we'll find a use for Trinket Smelter uh, on this run. Wait, does it just... If I use it, does it just m give me the stats of the Trinket? It doesn't combine Trinkets? Yeah, okay. You know what? Let's roll with that. That's cool. That could conceivably give us more use than flies if we find good Trinkets. But, you know, like... Sure, that's what testing is for, but there's a difference between testing, like... You know, a platformer, and testing a game where there's 300 items... And then those items have impacts on other items. And then you also have these challenges with these unique cases where, you know, I think it's pretty easy to just not uh, realize that something like missing, though, an item that might show up on 1% of your challenge runs like this, and only 1% of idiots like myself would probably even bother to take it. Um, you know, I, I have sympathy for that. But greedier mode and Sister Viz should be easier, dude. And probably a few more bosses as well, but... Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. I mean, I want the I want the charge, and I want more items that can be re-rolled. 
I don't know if Missing Note was going to cause us to lose uh, the access to the smelter, though. Honestly, the rest of this should be going quick. We should be at the tail end of this run, to be real with you. Help. We may or may not be, and that's okay. We'll find a way. Life finds a way. I hope we don't lose Smelter, though, because we're just about to get another charge. Either way, like, I understand, you know, the the feedback on Afterbirth Plus, I think, has been good for the development team so far. There are a couple of things that I think... I think greedier mode should be easier. But I know, like, you put yourself in their shoes as well. They're going to be like, why is everybody... Everybody complain about greed mode being too easy. Now, I made it slightly harder, and everybody complains that it's too hard. But I, there is a happy medium there, hopefully, at some point. Greedier is kicking my ass. Mostly, I'm just salty. I've got to beat it with, like, all the characters. You telling me i, I got to beat greed mode with Maggie? Wait, it didn't even re-roll, uh... Head of the Keeper here. I don't know. Turns out that my pseudo-intellectual programmer hat was on backwards. Which looked badass, but did not provide me with the correct information. Alright, Binky pickup. I mean, to be real with you, this is an awesome synergy now. Money equals power, plus Judas's Shadow, plus um, Head of the Keeper. Maybe I should be happy it didn't re-roll, but... I want that zaniness, dude. That's what I'm here for. So, smelting, uh, the, uh, pushpin here gives us 10% chance of piercing and spectral shots with each tier. Not that good, but not bad necessarily. I think just to keep ourselves alive, we'll buy a spirit heart, but what are we on now? Depths 1. It, again, it's just gonna get faster and faster as the game goes on. We should peep item rooms, but considering that we've already defeated, like, the harder parts of the game, we really don't need those items to succeed. If anything, like, this is a cool challenge to kind of get eased into the challenges, and also a good way for us to, uh... Well, finally, we're back at zero luck. Um, and also a good way for us to, uh, get to use a spacebar item that we've never used before, so... I, w I give Ass Backwards, which is actually Bass Ackwards, the Northern Lion Seal of Approval. I think this challenge is, uh... You know, rife with ways that it could probably fuck you early on. But if it doesn't, I'm assuming it gives you like 10 random items to start. Not the same 10 items I had, but... Uh, I think I think there's a lot of ways that this challenge could go terribly wrong when you're playing it, but if you get a decent run that's not too strong and not too weak, it seems kind of cool. And in fact, this would be a challenge, and, and I usually do not say this about challenges. This is a challenge that I almost feel is a little evergreen. Like, you could return to this challenge and, and do it again uh, backwards, which would be fun, but... A Charmed Pooter appears. That's a new one. It's a new one for me, at least. I don't know what I did to it. I, I've destroyed it, apparently. My mistake. It's a Lenny of... Or Lenny in of Mice and Men moment there. But yeah, this is kind of like... Like a new mode. Almost in and of itself. Now, again, I think that the problem with this is probably that it gets too easy. Once you get past the Mega Satan fight, if you can survive the... Uh, the Shoal floor, you're probably set, right? I mean, we should peep that, maybe? It's not like I'm trying to artificially deflate the length of the video. We might as well see if we can get Spirit Hearts or Guppy items or something. More trinkets to smelt. Again, every route, we have 10 damage. Or 11.4 damage, basically. And every floor is just going to get easier. Can you imagine doing the basement with 11.4 damage? That's like, you know, starting with Mega Level. I, I do love the mini monstros, you know? They're visually dense, but still... I love him! Deep in your heart! Marge Simpson or the guy from A&E's hit show Intervention? I don't know. No item rooms? Oh! Now it all becomes clear. So they give you no item rooms. A charmed one tooth. Oh, you know what? That's Pokemon Go. Or Pokemans Go, so they don't get fucking sued. Um, occasionally we just spawn a charmed enemy. Don't charge me, you cocky dork. Alright, that one's the uh, end of the line there. Uh, th this is sweet, though, actually. We should use our keys for opening up the golden chest, then. Because there's nothing else to do with them. Another luck upgrade. Glad I didn't use a bomb there, and we'll, we'll move along here. 14 damage to handle the caves, too. That will probably be enough. Is my guess. It's remarkable how this is almost going to be, like, the same length as a normal run. Right. 
Don't take a sip of your coffee. You gotta fight Gertie first. And I actually, like, I try to do my best to keep myself not spoiled. I don't know what the other challenges are in terms of, like, their content. I just know the reaction to them. I just know the sound they make when they take a man's life. But you gotta be, like, pretty heinous to be worse than the speed challenge, in my opinion. Like, that was a dang nightmare. I just want trinkets. I know you can't give me trinkets, but I would like trinkets, please. I want to smelt as many as possible. I think that this this is like void, but for uh, but for trinkets. You know, the, the item that Apollyon starts with, but for trinkets. You could actually make a really amazing item if you got the proper array of trinkets. I don't think it's too likely, but if you imagine if you got like Cancer plus Curved Horn. That's an insanely high value item. Uh, you know, doubles your rate of fire and gives you like... I don't know, plus 2 damage or something like that? Plus 1.5? That's like a small rock mixed with maybe not a soy milk, but like a huge tiers upgrade. I don't even think we want that trinket, hilariously enough. Hey, you know what? Let's add it to the pile, dude. Does that make it so enemies occasionally explode? Uh, excuse me? Yeah, I, I picked it up, but it didn't register as being picked up. Like, I hadn't put it in my pocket yet. Something in my front pocket for you. Why don't you reach in my pocket and see what it is? After this, uh, we, we might not just mainline another challenge. We'll probably just go do another uh, run and try to get some stuff unlocked. Not greedier mode just yet, but, you know, try to maybe do uh, some of the special floors as uh, as other characters. Ah, bad damage. Because I do want to see what's up with these new items. I've seen some of them. I like them. Guess we're just moving up here. This will take us to the caves one. I don't know why these fat bad Tomo flies, they're charmed, but they still want to shoot at me. And I want to do this challenge again, but with like blank card, fool card. I bet you could do it in like, you know, four minutes or something. We got the mom transformation. Uh, we'll take Little Brim, and then we'll take Abaddon. If that killed me, I was going to be so furious. Uh, nice damage bonus. We got Little Brim as well. We got a Tears upgrade somewhere in there. Get out of here, you Xenomorph motherfucker. Judgment. Uh, I have no idea where to pop a Judgment to get a better deal with the Devil chance. It seems like you might just be guaranteed to get a deal with the Devil. Or maybe an unforeseen... Um, missing no reroll gave us the Goat Head. I have no idea, to be honest with you. I will continue to buy one Spirit Heart per floor to just make sure I don't throw this in true Northern Lion fashion. And we'll move on. I am pleased, though, you know, despite having zero item rooms, we picked up... Honestly, money equals power is is what has driven this run forward for us. Because, if imagine like you were doing this run. You know you don't have access to items except deals with the devil and uh, boss items for, like, the entirety of the game. And shops, to be fair. How are you going to get from 3 damage to 17 damage? It can't be done. Or it can't logically or realistically be done. But... For us, we managed to get uh, money equals power, and it was done easily, you know, every, especially with Head of the Keeper. We've managed to, well, and Dark Judas. Dark Judas is what allowed us to really accelerate here. Alright. I have to say, it does kind of, you know, it's like putting the climax at the start of the book. Breakfast for an HP up. Uh, breakfast in America. No, we'll probably not check out that other item, just because it'll likely lead to our death. You know what? Actually... Okay, it closed in on me. But I was gonna go take that item, because I'm like... If you think you can't handle the fucking basement... With 17 damage and 2.5 spirit hearts... You might as well just get out. That should be easy, dude. That's like starting an Eden run with the keys to the kingdom. I, but it's a little bit like putting the climax at the start of the book here. You know, the fact that you're able to just... Easily, like, you, the hardest part of the run comes at the very beginning, is what I'm trying to say here, but in a more eloquent fashion. Um, kinda saps a little bit of the excitement out, but, it, you know, for a one-time, like, novelty thing, that's cool. Bob's brain. And I think, you know, we could easily have taken many, many opportunities to, uh, to succeed on that Mega Satan fight. But we didn't, because we're so good at Isaac, as long as you don't count greedier mode. Stop shooting at me, you jerk! You're making me want to dodge and dodge into some spikes or something because you don't realize that I am your one true master. 
And again, getting to use Trinket Smelter was nice. All right, let's finish this off. I don't know, maybe at the end of this. It would be kind of cool if at the end of this you had to fight Mega Satan as well. Just to be like, okay, so you, you should have gotten stronger over the course of the run, fight Mega Satan, but probably what I imagine is going to happen is we're going to pick up, or we're going to go into the, uh, the light, and then we're just going to win. A half soul heart? Pardon me? Half soul heart, half red heart? What a world. I had heard that there was a half soul heart, but you have to unlock it through some circuitous route that I have not yet done for myself, so um, I'm surprised. Okay, there's the trophy. We did it! Laz bleeds more. Oh, dude, if that's a buff for Lazarus so that when he respawns as, as Lazarus, he gets, like, anemia or something, that's cool in my book. For now, thanks for watching. Kind of a fun challenge. We're gonna go, uh... Probably do not another challenge right away, but the next challenge we do will be... April's Fool, God damn it! Thanks for watching, thanks for your support on Afterbirth Plus so far. If you've enjoyed the episodes, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Afterbirth Plus is going to continue, Anti-Birth is going to continue. And I'll continue to see you next time.